Blessed be the God and Father, and the only begotten Son of God, and also the Holy Spirit, for he has shown us his merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Here as brothers and sisters, this morning we have the joy of praying now a voted Mass to the Holy Trinity after our celebration yesterday of the great solemnity of the Holy Trinity. Therefore, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book, First Book of Kings, Elijah the Trishbite from Trishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives whom I serve, during these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here, go east, and hide in the body chair east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord commanded. He went and remained by the chariot, the wadi chariot, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening. And he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes towards the mountain. When shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian, the Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven. The Lord will guide you from all evil. He will guide your life. The Lord will guard you coming and your going, both now and forever. Rejoice in 
When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Make yourselves as comfortable as you would like. You're certainly far enough apart, but if you need to breathe a bit, feel free. Today is what we used to call in the in the uh, kind of in the old categories um, a feria, a ferial day, a day where um, we would either repeat the mass of the previous Sunday or uh, some additional mass. And this day also, still even in the new calendar and in the new rite, has that ability. And so we could uh, pray the Monday for the 10th Sunday of Ordinary Time, or we have the opportunity as we are choosing to do this day to continue our celebration of the most Holy Trinity. Yesterday, that solemnity was just too great for us to just leave it go in, in one day. As we talked about yesterday, and maybe you heard in uh, one of the homilies, the Holy Trinity is foundational to what we believe. Uh, not only sort of a definition of our God, but it is um, a um, it is a necessity that we in full faith understand that it is love and mercy and a desire for true relationship and intimacy that our Lord comes to us in three forms as one God, three persons as one God. That the Creator God in heaven does not wish to be a far off God, but put flesh on divinity and sent His only begotten Son to walk among us, and then left us the love that the Father and the Son share as a reality, a person, personal reality of the Holy Spirit, the fellowship between the Father and the Son, the love, the charity. And it is that charity that they share with each other that we are offered to, uh, we are offered uh, equally without any change or any any reduction, which is truly remarkable when we imagine that we are loved so much as creatures, imperfect as we are, that that same love, both in type and quantity, uh, as if we could somehow quantify it, which we can't, but that in every respect, that love that is shared between the Father and the Son is offered to us as well. No difference. And for that, we should be humble, awestruck, joyful. And as we spoke about yesterday, we have to also understand that if we are going to survive these times, any chaotic times, from the very beginning of the church until now, we have to decide to which group we belong, if you will, 
that's a simplification, but we can decide that if we, we want to join in the darkness and follow along by the Prince of Darkness and enter into despair and anger and every other sort of negativity, then we deny our birthright as children of light. True children who reflect the goodness of our God. Because no matter how much the Prince of Darkness attempts to rail and scream and loot and burn in this world, one little iota of divine light disperses all of the darkness. And therefore today we understand in Holy Scripture that even the prophet Elijah, persecuted as he was, was protected by the loving embrace of God. And that our Lord Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes that we hear so often that sometimes we just say, yeah, I know that, I've heard it, I've heard it a million times, realize that what is being described there is what it is to walk in the light, to be a child of light, and to absolutely shun, to cry, any membership in the cult of doom, the cult of darkness. None of us would ever, I pray, choose to be part of the godless rabble that is attempting to bring anarchy to our society. None of us really has the ability to make major change. We can't go there and Put ourselves in the middle of that, but we can declare through our personal witness and in our own prayer that we will not be conquered by darkness, that we claim our birthright as children of the light, and that we manifest the light to all who are willing to receive it. That is truly our mandate. Be light. And I speak to myself as well as to you. We are called to be light in a time of darkness. Be light in your own homes. Be light in your neighborhoods. And it's not a matter of words. It is a matter of witness. That even as the Prince of Darkness believes falsely that it has some foothold in the world, we say absolutely not. And we reflect the light of God, the God that we know and love as Trinity, God as Father, God as Son, God as Holy Spirit, three in one, equal in majesty, inseparable, and all three fully at work in our lives. So as we leave and as we pray the rest of this Holy Mass together and as we leave together, let us at least have one thing on our hearts and one declaration as we go out that door into the world. Oh Lord God, let me be light. Praise be Jesus Christ. And so we stand with the greatest of confidence to offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. God our Father, God as Son, God as Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, hear our prayers especially for our Holy Catholic Church, the Church founded by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Church that will never succumb to the darkness. Help all of us and help those who lead in the church to be light in a dark world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are in sickness.
civil service and leadership positions in our world. That even though they may be the most hardened of secularists, that somehow they will be able to soften their hearts well enough to experience the love and the movement of the Holy Spirit in their lives so that they truly may understand and then work toward the common good of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are paralyzed by fear. Fear comes not from God. Fear comes always from the evil one. All of those who are suffering in any way, physically, spiritually, morally, emotionally, let the healing hand of the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the true and ultimate physician, let that healing hand come upon all of us in our need. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all who have died. We pray that none have died alone. We pray that those who have died, when they open their eyes in the new reality, that their first vision is that of our loving Savior Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the intentions of our Mass, for Barb, Risto, and Francis Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Let us pray to the Lord. And let us, from the depths of our hearts, offer our own prayers to the silence of the moment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, you love us so much and desire this constant relationship of intimacy and covenant with us. Let us never turn away from you, but let us always turn toward you and offer our prayers and all of our trust to you. For we ask it always through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And for yours, the sacrifice of your hands, for the gracious of the Lord who is for the good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, 
We pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day. With one voice they claim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these for on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your life, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our daily help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, and David our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and with him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's Informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, who graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
since you are children of God, God has sent into your hearts the spirit of his Son, the spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Please pray with us now the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the receiving of this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal, holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you.